Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good Monday. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I am a new messy best friend. Um, if you are not having a great Monday, bitch, it's okay. There's always tomorrow. There's always an hour from now, okay? So just make sure you hold on just a little bit longer. You got this, okay? We might not be feeling our best and that is okay. We don't have to feel our best every day, okay? So anyways, if you are new and you are looking into having a new messy best friend, that's me, bitch. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 18K and let's get on to the tea, bitch. So listen, Gabby Hanna took to Twitter um, like eight hours ago and she wrote on Twitter, <clears throat> I'll find it right now, bitch. She wrote, she put this picture, okay, just like in the bathroom with the thumbs up, saying, the police just came for a wellness check and I answered the door stoned, covered in pain and wearing only my underwear and a make sure your friends are okay t-shirt. I can't believe they didn't take me away. <sighs> so here's the thing, you guys. I do believe in my whole heart that Gabby Hanna is definitely on in on the joke, okay? She's definitely in on the joke. Um, I really truly think that Gabby is, <sighs> I think this, at this point, she is so far gone in the joke that I think she maybe doesn't know, you know, that, that this could be really seen horribly in front of people. And she still wants to promote albums. She still wants to promote songs. And I always say this in every single video. I'm like, girl, if you have no public, who's gonna buy your music, right? Who's gonna who's gonna stream your songs? Who's gonna fucking you know even wanna watch a video? They're only gonna be interested in drama videos, right? So unless her and Trisha Paytas have a podcast together, I don't see a lot of people watching Gabby Hanna, right? So the comment section is. Like, okay. Um, so the comment section is a little bit, you know, not good. So someone wrote, I really hope you get help for the tough time you are going through, but laughing it off like it's some quirky aesthetic is not for me. As someone who actually lost a friend to, I don't find this funny. I, I completely agree. I completely agree with this. I think that Gabby Hanna is making light of everything. I think she just really is so hungry for the attention, for the views, for the comments, for the trending, for all of these things. And I really think that she is far gone. And my question is, you know, who sent the wellness check? Was it a friend? Was it a family member? Was it a fan? Is it a joke, right? But her making a joke out of something so delicate like a wellness check, because you do wellness checks when you really fear for somebody's life, right? So, you know, somebody else put, Gabby, I hope you're okay. I'm a million miles away from you, but always here if you want to talk. Take care of yourself. Um, Someone put, um, get help. Seriously, this isn't funny. Um, my question... Okay, I've seen a lot of tweets here saying that she should not joke with this. But a lot of people that feel, including me, jokes about this stuff to ease the situation and feel less heavy about this. It's a way to survive. Please don't invalidate. I mean, listen, everyone has their own feelings. You can't tell someone how to feel. So I'll never say like, no, bitch, you're wrong. But it is a very, very, very delicate situation. Um... Well, listen, I have to say, there's a lot of people defending her. Um, really wish people would just leave you the fuck alone so you could have time to feel better. Sending love and positivity your way. People would leave her alone if she would stop coming back doing these things. Dave, people would leave her alone. Literally would leave her alone. People won't even talk about her. If she wasn't involved in so many dramas and she wouldn't put herself out there like she does, people would leave her alone. Right? Somebody else put, I'm shocked to see so many people think this is no big deal. This is gross. Absolutely disgusting. 
girl, I hope you're doing okay. Screw all the people that don't understand. So the word is bullying you, and then when someone is concerned and does something about it, it's still bullying. What, bitch? Um, trust me, none of us can believe it either. Sending positivity. I thought she was leaving the internet. That's no fun. I, I'm, I'm, I hope you're okay. Um, laughing my ass off. Um, do you know who called in? Why did they come? Uh, oh, she posted on her Patreon. Okay, so basically, she posted on her Patreon saying, struggling to find a reason to be alive today. Which is incredibly understandable that someone would call wellness check on someone saying things like that, whether it's her humor or not. That is not humor. I lost my brother to that. That is not humor. So many people, so many beautiful people lose their lives. So many beautiful people lose their family members over this. This is not humor, okay, Becca? I'm feeling shady as fuck today because this 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 conversation and this topic is the last thing you want to make fun of. The last thing you want to fucking bring, you know, comedy out of. Okay, Gabby Hannah, maybe go to your garage, go sing about sunflowers and shut the fuck up. Seriously. And these and her fans saying that it's okay and that to make a joke out of a wellness check because she put struggling to find a reason to stay alive on her Patreon. Sorry, that's just, honestly, like, you guys know that I'm nice and everything, but that is too much. Um, uh, somebody put, put down your phone and go with them. You need help, sweetheart. Hope you're doing okay. Um, yeah. I hope you're doing okay. Quirky, police come quick. Um... Yeah, so I mean, there's a there's a lot of mixed things about it, you know. Um, somebody put, you know, how many people do this, knowing damn well it's only going to cause her more issues and to not want to open up anymore if she feels down. Listen, you can open up. You can you can you can open up. You can you can tell people how you really feel. But Gabby Hanna is so covered in this narrative that she it needs to be the manipulator. She is the victim. She is this. She is that. She is not well, okay? And her fans thinking that it's funny that she got a wellness check, okay? Because a wellness check doesn't happen just to anybody, okay? It just does not happen to anybody. It's because people were concerned with what she wrote on her Patreon, and it's sick. It is so sick. And I'm not saying it's sick for her. I'm saying it's sick for people applauding it. She is not well. And even though she's not my favorite person, I wish her well. I wish her healing. I wish her that she really gets the help she needs. Because she does have an audience that obviously defend and love her. But damn, they're, they're, they're blind too. Okay, how are you gonna think it's funny that somebody got a wellness check? How do you think it's funny that she is saying she's struggling to be alive and then come on Twitter saying, ha ha ha, you know, cops came, I was stoned, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not a funny situation. And I understand putting some light on a situation. Like, you know, if I fell down, uh, then, then I'll be like, you know, oops, I fell. Like, that is putting light on a situation, right? I don't know. But, you know, it's just, this is a situation that you just cannot put light. And I don't know. It's, it's very concerning. It's very concerning. And I feel for her. I feel for her, for her family, for her friends. And I pray and hope that she does find some kind of light and some kind of healing. Because, you know, I don't wish her ill will. And I know so many T-channels wish her such ill will and I don't, I really truly don't. I hope she heals and I hope that she finds, um, I hope that every day she can wake up smiling and content with her life because I don't want anybody to be bad but making light of a wellness check just does not sit right to me. Anyways, bitch, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, listen, yes, I was a little shady today but this com, this, this, this conversation is a conversation that should never be taken lightly. So um, I love you guys so much. Please take care. If you are not feeling your best, just know that there's always tomorrow. There's always 
one hour from now, you're gonna be okay. You are loved and I'm here for you. Mwah.